Hi, welcome to KTB5 video tutorial. Another simple one, another short one, another remake. But it's a nice exercise to show you how to use the shell command and faces with different thicknesses. So let's have fun with KTB5. So let's start with a sketch on the YZ plane. Right, as usual, the yellow projected elements. Let's go for this view style. And let's start with something like this. And of course, I don't want to use those horizontal and vertical constraints, so I will delete them. Okay, let's add some dimensions. This should be 80. Yeah, and that's the problem with Katia that distance should be six yeah i know six this distance should be 24 yeah i'm so used to the other programs now that distance should be Ten. This distance. Should be. Six. No, five. That distance. Should be. Ten. This one should be. 10 and that distance should be 45 and of course this distance might be 15 and that should be coincident leave that sketch make a mirrored extrude mirrored extend and let's go for 25 to both sides next sketch on the same plane hide these i need a circle Diameter would be 30. This point should be on that axis, coincident. And the distance to this axis should be 45. Leave that sketch. Make another extrude, make it a mirrored extent, 25. And OK. Now I can go for my shell. Okay, let's go for the shell command. This should be 7 mm, that should be 7 mm. So let's go to 7 mm thickness here. And I want to remove the surface and that one. Now I need different thicknesses on this one. This should be not 7 but 6 mm. So just click here double click and go for six millimeter and that surface down below should be not six but 25 that should do the trick yeah okay nice so for my second shell command I want to go for 10 millimeter 
and sorry I just pressed enter so I want to remove this face here that face and this face and I need different thickness on this surface, that surface, this one and that one. Now let's change the values. This should be not 10 but 7. This should be 17. This should be 22. And that one should be 2 millimeters. Let's see. Looks good. And that's not a real problem, but these are separate faces. Now let's go for a tri tangent fillet. That should be here. So that would be the first face, second face, and that should be removed and confirm. Nice. Let's go for the holes. Select the edge, select the hole tool, select the face. It will be right in the middle. That positioning sketch will be ISO constrained and it should not be blind, but go up to next diameter would be 13 millimeters and confirm next one again select the edge select the tool select the face this time it's 14 millimeters and it should go up to last and confirm the final one will be here in the middle. So therefore I want to put a point right there. So let's go for a point. And I can go, for example, for between. And that would be sort of point 0.1. This would be sort of point 0.2. Ratio would be 0 0.5 or let's go for the middle point so it's 0 0.5 and confirm and now I can select the point go for the whole tool and select the face now this would be 20 millimeters it should go up to plane and if you select that face it will define a plane so it would go up to this face and that's okay and confirm and I'm done so I hope it was helpful hope you liked it if you did please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook cat fan page would be very nice of you I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye